Now, listen, you guys, Joe Biden came in swinging for the Transformer, okay? You will not believe the amount of shade that this man threw on that girl. But on the other hand, you can tell that, well, he's kind of sparing her because of probable ties that, you know, he subtly mentioned in the read, okay? And when he was already reading everybody. Now, we're going to do it the other style that we did the other time. So, first of all, I'm going to start with the read and then I'll talk about the apology and everything that is going down. So allow me, you guys, to insert this part of Joe Biden talking about how he got, um, you know, a lap dance out of pity for the Transformer. Now, when this girl speaks her ish in the streets, she makes it seem like she was the most popping strip, stripper in the strip clubs back in the day. But according to Joe Biden, she was pathetic. According to Joe Biden, he felt pity for her. According to Joe Biden... She didn't even have a sp the spotlight. So now these are some of the things that we're going to be talking about. Let me just insert that and I will catch you after what Joe Biden had to say. And I'm in total support of her family. I want to say that. Is that all I have to say about the rant? Oh, no, she said more. I also want to make clear that I have never done coke or crack. <laughs> Only because people have huge platforms and loud voices. And some of y'all out there may think it's the truth. I've never done that. I was a dust in my teenage years, pills in my adult years kind of guy. But not to knock anybody out there, we don't shame that way. Now, dealing with a person like Joe Biden has to be hectic because this man is super smart. And I'm always looking at the Transformer, you know, shouting out loud, you know, on top of her voice and thinking that the louder she shouts, the smarter she is or the smarter she sounds. Because clearly from this statement that Joe put out, this man is way ahead of her, like way, way ahead of her. And uh, the reason is when you listen to what Joe Biden just said at a surface level, it feels like, well, Joe Biden is just out there debunking the rumor that, well, he did uh, the C word back in the day or he still does the C word. That's what this sounds like. But when you actually listen to that, what this man is actually doing is he is recruiting people who have struggled with the C word, people who have struggled with addictions. He's basically saying, hey, look at that girl. That girl is literally making fun of you for struggling with addictions. Now, any artist who's PR trained, any artist who's, um, who's had media training knows that as a public figure, there are certain things that are just politically wrong to say. Do you understand what I'm saying? You cannot come and you have a huge platform and you are shaming people who have struggled with addictions. Do you understand what I'm saying? So in other words, this man is just alerting people to say, look, this girl laughs at other people's struggles. That's why she, that's why Joe Biden said, oh, well, we don't shame people who do that. And in the Transformers mind, she will look at this and she will just think, oh, well, Joe Biden didn't do anything. Well, he just, you know, debunked the rumor. But this is deeper than that. Now, wait and listen to this man talk about the lap dance, the secondhand embarrassment that I got from listening to this man saying this. Oh, my God. I might laugh in between you guys, but allow me to do that. I was just like, what? Who has got a sympathy hoo-ha? You are telling me that the Dominican hoo-ha that you were breaking, breaking about is actually a sympathy one. Oh, my God. Um, Cardi also said that I got two lap dances from her many years ago. Cardi is a wife, so I don't even feel comfortable discussing that. <laughs> Guys, oh my God, there he goes, uh, pointing out the fact that, well, she's a wife. Now, you guys, if you remember also in my previous videos when I was covering the run, I told you that it does not make any sense for somebody's wife to come out here bragging about a lip dance like that you give to another man and you're still in contact with that man. Like, what is that? Do you understand what I'm saying? And your husband is not just any man. He's also a man who's in the industry. I get it. Stripping is a job. I get it. Giving lip dances was a job. But as the person that you are now and being married to a man that's going to be rubbing shoulders with the likes of Joe Biden, imagine how your husband is going to feel when, when you know, meeting Joe Biden and you're out here bragging and lashing out on Twitter talking about you gave this man a lip dance, like for money. <laughs> oh my god i'm getting secondhand embarrassment from this you guys i'm i cannot believe that this girl did this 
And this is Joe Biden basically flexing on offset to say that, look at what your wife is doing. Look at how improper your wife is behaving. That's a, that's basically what the man is doing right now. And honestly speaking, I do feel like they deserve each other. Hey, Offset goes around, sleeping around, embarrassing her. Hey, and here she goes, um, you know, bragging about a lap dance that happened years ago. Like, how many clients did you have? And now that leads me into believing that, um, you know, Joe Biden is actually being truthful when he says that, well, she was not even popping in the strip, strip club like that. Because if you are memorizing lap dances like this, you sure was not getting any 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 clients back in the day. But if that anyway, happened, listen. I do not remember, and there were not memorable dances. Uh-oh. <laughs> you guys, this man said that the dances were not that memorable. Oh my god! Oh, oh, Joe, Joe, this reads. Oh my god! I now I believe when Joe Biden says that he's a bab like this because only babs read this way. Like Joe, what is this honesty? <laughs> This man started with the apology just to end, um, you know, the apology with this. Now, I don't even know if I should take the apology seriously. But you know what? We'll still cover the apology in another video because we are still the behind. The man said he does not remember. The man said, well, it means the dances were not that memorable, which means they were bad. They were bad. That's what this man is saying. Why did she even bring up the lip? Oh, my God. I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed. <laughs> They were like the dances that you give, like, out of pity. <laughs> you guys, I cannot believe this. I cannot really believe this. Now, from this, you guys, you can tell that these are the sentiments that people generally have towards this woman. But because of the alleged payola, they have to play along. And knowing her, she will hold, she will hold on to the apology, the fake apology that Joe gave in the beginning of this video. Um, you know, that's the one that she will hang on to and she will be like, well, he's scared of me. Well, I run this ish. And I'm like, this man is reading you down. This man is saying that, well, he, he accepted a lip dance from you out of pity so that you can get some coins. That's what this man is saying. That it, it the, lip, the lip dance that you're bragging about. He felt sorry for you. That your hoo-ha is sympathy hoo-ha. Oh, I'm not my trying God. to be funny. It's part of why I admire Cardi. I didn't look at her in the strip club and think that's someone that's having a blast. <laughs> Anytime I was there, she had to work for the money. So I don't view her that way. I've never looked at her that way in all of her beauty. That's just not where I... <laughs> in all of her beauty, in all of her beauty, you guys, this is what Joe Biden said. In all of her, of her beauty, he has never looked at her that way. And I'm just thinking, if this man is publicly saying this, imagine what they say behind uh, closed doors. Imagine what these men be talking about behind closed doors. I mean, if you can say this. <laughs> Guys, I'm so embarrassed at this point. Like, why? Like, you know, in, in, you know, the woman in me wants to be like, Joe Biden, you're going too, too far. But then I remember she brought up the lip dance. She's the one who used that as a weapon to shame this man. So uh, the woman, you know, the trying to be a feminist in me, I'm trying to do that. But at the end of the day, you brought the lip dance up. Now, it would have been a different situation if Joe Biden just came out and started talking about the lip dance and, you know, started talking about how much of a pity lip dance it was. But that's not the case. You brought it up. So now my feminism ends here. Like, I, I don't go beyond that. You tried to use your femininity as a way of trolling a man, and the man is re reciprocating. I wish I really could. You know, a part of me is just like, oh, you know, Joe Button, that's not nice. But I mean, go, you accuse this man of doing the C, C word. And this man has got a partner. You have a husband. What's the business of you bringing this to the public? Like, why? <laughs> Offset with the sympathy. Oh my God. So I don't remember the lap dance. I'm mad that she remembers a lap dance if it happened. What else do I need to address with Carl? What? She had to work for the money. 
She worked hard in the strip clubs. I remember. Anytime I was there, Cardi worked hard. Her and that little light skin girl, everybody went to the curly hair. Like, Cardi was, like, to me, I felt overshadowed in New York strip clubs. Okay, like, she wasn't one of the it people to me in my experience. So she pivoted, and it worked. And she pivoted, and she went from that to TV, from TV to music, and it's been seamless and flawless since. Yeah, so all that talk that, oh my God, I was the eat person in the strip clubs, I was getting my money. I was this as if you were that, like the biggest stripper in the club. Uh, Joe Biden is saying that you and your former teeth were really not. You were not, okay? That's what Joe Biden is saying. Joe Biden is saying that you were highly overshadowed. Um, Joe Biden is also saying um, that maybe that money you saw break about the money that you got when you were in the strip club, it was because some men felt pity for you and they felt like you were not seen and you were overshadowed. So they just wanted to help you, not that they really wanted you. So now I guess all those rants that she also goes on, you know, she, she, she has these runs where she's like, every man wants me, a lot of industry men want me and things like that. So now if Joe Biden was one of the men that you were referring to, um, he has clarified that, well, if the lip dance ever happened, it was probably because of sympathy, because the men sympathized with you in as far as the invisibility is concerned and it seems like he has continued with the you know with the sympathy okay he still sympathizes with you i mean even though he's reading you today at the beginning of the video he did profess his undying love for you okay so that show does show that the man um you know is uh sympathetic when it comes uh to you so i hope she understands now that sometimes when these men are out there bringing her up and things like that it's solely out of um you know out of sympathy i'm not saying this to be shady but i do hope that she uses this moment as a moment to self-reflect and say and also understand because she likes to say that um if a female rapper you know compliments her on something she goes out and tries to shame them later on to say that oh well you were in my dm you were congratulating me so i hope she understands that it's normal for people to even say you look good maybe when they realize that your you know your self-esteem is kind of low you need to have like 20 surgeries they will come and say that you look good in an attempt to make sure that you don't continue um you know touching your face and things like that so we are not to take those compliments as a gotcha moment when people are trying to be nice to us it's just an example that I'm giving. I'm not saying that uh, that's what happens when people are complimenting it. I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, these men may have asked for lap dances, the likes of Joe Biden, and they were like, oh, this one, uh, it seems like she's very hardworking. You know, she probably does not get tipped that much. So, and she probably does not get that much attention. And that is the reason why. Let me just, you know, ask her to give me a lap dance so that I can do charity work. Uh, basically, philanthropy. Joe, the philanthropist. <laughs> Oh, she also said that uh, because of my relationship or interviews that I've done with Nicki Minaj, that I might have turned it up on my criticism of her. I think that's the furthest thing from the truth. I'm too real of it. Ever bend that way for any of these musical artists, but I do understand how it could look that way from her perspective. I think that's whack. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean, Joe, when you say that while well, you understand how it may look like that? Because I'm trying to rethink all the podcasts of yours that I've watched in the past, and I'm trying to look for a, for a moment where you were out there hyping Nicki Minaj for nothing. Because every compliment that you've given to Nicki Minaj actually is true. So I do not understand this. Like, I don't understand. Please, 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 please leave that woman alone. She's minding a business right now. Stop trying to use her to justify this nonsense that this woman is coming with. Because when have you ever put Nicki Minaj on a pedestal? When have you ever put her on, like, on a status that she doesn't belong? When? And when did you even drag this woman? This is the stuff that annoys me. It's the stuff that they handle her with kid gloves. Did you get the lip dance or not? Now I'm now I'm curious. Did you get the lip dance? And stop trying to say that, well, it was because of pity, because clearly you enjoyed it. You enjoyed the lip dance. I'm turning on you now. <laughs> the only, I think, oh, I got it. I'm sorry. I think that's whack. The problem with that is that I'm so New York, New York, New York. It just so happens that, I mean, they both are New York. Mm -hmm. 
So I try to stay as neutral as you can be. When it comes to that, I can assure you that Nicki Minaj has never spoken to me about Cardi B. And I have never spoken to Nicki Minaj about Cardi B. Nor do I expect for Nicki's relationship with me to change because I don't have a problem with Cardi B. I just think that's f I think Nicki feels the same because she's very queen. She's very New York. And Cardi's very New York. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. Did you guys realize that, well, when Joe Biden was out there giving Nicki Minaj a compliment and basically saying that, well, he knows that Nicki Minaj does not feel like Joe Biden has to have a problem with the Transformer because she is so Queens. She is so New York. So that was a compliment to say that she's not that immature. Did you see how he quickly had to say, oh, well, even Cardi B is also, you know, so New York. No, she's not. Clearly, she's not. If she feels some type of way because you gave Nicki Minaj a platform, it means that she's not. But he had to say, he had to also mention her just in case he, you know, she will say that, oh, you said Nicki is Queens in New York. I'm also from New York. So <laughs> watching them, you know, tread carefully around her like this is just like, what does she have on you? Are you sure it's just the lip dance or there's something else? Are you sure you forgot the lip dance, Joey? Or you're, you're, you're lying to us? Because I don't understand this entire tiptoeing. Like he found the need to also make, oh, even Cardi B is also from New York. I'm just like, boy, bye. Clearly she's not behaving like somebody from New York. Like if, if you're saying that, well, um, you know, Nikki is so Queens, Nikki is so New York. Clearly what the Transformer is doing is the opposite of what Nikki Minaj has done. Because she wants you to cut ties with people uh, for her. So that was her. That's what she wants. Y'all were saying? I was saying, um, just looking at it from her perspective. You do the interviews with Nikki and Natasha Kay interview because she did mention that in the space. She, even though it never came out, there were pictures. There was talk about it. We people know it existed. And she was bothered. And she expressed being bothered about that before, at that time too. Yes. So just from her angle, okay, this guy's doing this. Her we're, angle, I totally understand it. Okay. Her so. angle don't have to be explained to me because I get it. I came in here and said it before. I went to Summer Jam before when Cardi was headlining. I left before the Cardi set. That could, that could look, look away. away. Yeah. I left because I'm famous and traffic and human and out. introvert. I'm trying to leave. <laughs> I cannot believe that these men are making excuses for her behavior. So what? So you have an in interview with Nicki Minaj. Now you have to be super nice. You can't criticize the, you know, the transformer even when she's wrong. Because I'm trying to, first of all, I'm trying to look at the episode that made her feel like Joe Biden was out here just coming against her for no reason because you can't say it's for no reason you're an artist you're not you know producing music and you want to claim that you're at the top there you came in thinking that you were Nicki Minaj's replacement so obviously you're gonna get compared to the woman you were trying to replace and obviously they will hold you to the same standards the same standards that everybody's being held to it's not only um you know that the standards are towards you everybody is being held accountable I mean, even the queen of sympathy who even has an entire sympathy wig does not cry on the internet like this. She doesn't, you know, Bongo too does a sympathy stance and stuff like that, but she's not on spaces screaming and doing these things. Honestly, it's annoying, man. But anyway, uh, the men are making excuses for her. The men are saying that, well, it's justified because Joe allegedly left uh, Summer Jam before her set. And so she's tight about that. <laughs> What are we watching, really? Is this Coco Melon? No, this seems like it's 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 not even high school stuff. This seems like kindergarten stuff because. But I guess you felt tight because Joe Biden went to an entire gag city, but then when it comes to summer jam, he left before a set, knowing the person that she is. Uh, seeing Joe Biden seated seated um you know at gag gag city probably made her feel some type of way. But anyway, go off, go off, continue making excuses. And there's a man, um, you know, one of Joe Biden's co-hosts that exposed something that I was like, but if hmm, you Cardi, what is this? I understand you it. Hate the Tasha K the interview, I was just trying to do like an edgy interview and not really talk about Cardi too much. Uh, and like Cardi said in that spaces, Cardi, you are absolutely right. Tasha K is a dirty ride. Sometimes you have to meet people and see how they behave afterward to learn that they are dirty, rotten people. You are right. But I didn't put it out. I told Cardi that. In the, in I the, did in not put that interview out.
Now, this is the part that I want you to pay attention to. When I tell you that this woman does all these things, uh, calls all these men, whatever she wants to call them, because she knows she can get away with it. This is that power of being uh, ambiguous, like I'm telling you. Joel Biden in this snippet is out there calling Tasha all kinds of names because Tasha K, after not getting the Joel Biden interview, after Joel Biden deciding that he was not going to air the interview, Tasha K went off on Joel Biden. But I will tell you this today. Whatever Tasha K said in that rant of his towards Joe Biden is nothing compared to what the Transformer said to Joe Biden in her recent rant. The Transformer literally accused Joe Biden of doing the C word. The Transformer called Joe Biden a hoo um, you know, brother ninja for I don't know how many times. You know, she called him hoo you know, the P word. And this man still went on there and was like, oh, I love Cardi, oh, this and that. I'm not going to stop talking about her. I was just in the moment and things like that. And in he has not that called he the said, transformer out of her name. But do you see how comfortable he is calling Tasha K all these names? Do you see the double standards now? Because when you look at it, Tasha K's rant is even way older. And you would think that, well, they say time heals. But clearly he's still tight about that. But it's not tight about what the Transformer just said. Two hours of hair dragging you and calling you a hoo-ha ninja, you know? And you're still out there calling her a queen because you're from New York. But when it is Tasha K, whom you flew out and you promised an interview, and because of the Transformer's threats, you did not go ahead airing that interview. She fought some type of way. You wasted her time. And she dragged you. And when Tasha K dragged Joe Biden, you guys, I don't want to lie to you. I don't agree with a lot of things that Joe Biden says, but a lot of it really made sense. And she was spitting nothing but facts. Of course, they might have called Joe the who have word here and there, but it's nothing compared to what the Transformer has called Joe Biden. Yet here sits Joe Biden and his co-host making excuses for the Transformer. And oh, we understand her. But when it comes to Tasha K, you're calling her a piece of ish. That's what you're calling it. You're calling it the B word. I'm just like, honestly, it's it's very saddening to see people still doing this. So because she's that, she can get away with anything. But Tasha K, no, cannot. Anyway, let's listen to what 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 um you know he had to say. I told Cardi that. In the, in I the, did not put that interview out in the voice note I said because that. I fuck with Cardi. Then she had, and because it just looks away. Wasn't it around the same time Bongos was coming out or something was coming out? And you was like, yeah, she had yeah. just put out a yeah. single. Yeah, I remember, and I told her. I that. thought that that would have looked nuts. I said he never talked so bad. So I about scrapped you that shit and got my back kicked yeah. in by yeah. Tasha K. Took the hits because I scrapped it. But I don't care. Like that just seemed like the. So you do that, but I understand her okay. point of view with that. <laughs> right did you guys see the call hear the call saying that well i sent her a, a voice note telling her that you didn't do this and stuff like that so it seems like all these people have got like a tight relationship with each other and i like it when these men come out here saying that well i didn't interview tasha k because that was the right thing to do because you know she had that entire case with the transformer so i'm like if you're out there not doing your job to spare her feelings and her emotions when you personally don't have an issue with Tasha K. Of course, we are teaching her that that's what you're going to continue doing. So why are you acting surprised now that she feels like your platform is a platform and that anybody that she falls out with, you're not supposed to interview? Do you understand what I'm saying? With the Tasha K interview, that's what you will, that's the message that you sent out there. To say that I'm not interviewing Tasha because I F with Cardi B. That's what, she, that, that's what Joe Biden said verbatim. So how is she going to know when to draw, to draw the line? Because if you are not doing your job because you F with her, she's going to exp expect you to not do your job when it comes to Nicki Minaj because of her. So where is the outrage coming from? This is what you guys um, you know, have taught her. This is what you guys have made her believe is acceptable. So stop playing slow, please. Stop playing slow. You, you told her this. That's the message that you sent. Oh, I didn't put out the interview because that's real ninja ish. So where was this real ninja ish when you guys were out there giving the transformer a platform a day after she physically assaulted another celebrity? Because before the transformer came along, all of you hip hop critics were very cool with Nicki Minaj. 
very cool with her. This woman from the wicked witch from the poor went and assaulted Nicki Minaj physically with a shoe at a formal elegant event. And instead of you calling out this bad behavior, what did you do? Did you not give her a platform? Did you not give her a platform? But previously, were you not cool with Nicki Minaj? So where were your real ninja pants, Joe Biden? Where were your real ninja pants when you guys were out there giving the Transformer a platform despite her physically assaulting a woman of color? Where was that? So the real ninja pants only work when it comes to the Transformer, when it comes to defending the Transformer. That's when you remember, oh, if I'm cool, to, I'm cool with someone, I, I don't have to give their ops a platform. It's it's the double standards for me, and 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 this is what the transformer fails to understand that these men may not like may not you know uh, like Nicki Minaj like that, but they need her. Do you get it? They need her. If the likes of Joe and and Ebro and all these guys had continued living in delusion and trying to feed people, um, you know, lies that, you know, the Transformer and Nicki Minaj are on the same level. If they had continued doing that, if they had continued deplatforming Nicki Minaj like that, they, we would be looking at them like clowns right now. They would eventually become irrelevant in as far as hip hop is concerned because n people who have real actual people who have sense, people who have sense, it doesn't take a scientist to realize that anybody who's out there saying that the Transformer is better than Nicki Minaj is lying. So Joe Biden sitting down with Nicki Minaj, he needed that. He needed that for his credibility. Joe Biden being objective when it comes to talking about Nicki Minaj, he needs to be that. He needs to be that. He really does need to be that. Like with your rhymes and you don't write, you, 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 you can't even properly rap, you can't even enunciate your words, and you want these men to continue lying to the public and to you. That you're better than Nicki Minaj, an actual rapper who actually writes. This is this is <laughs> this is nonsense. Um, this is absolute nonsense. And like I told you, you guys, uh, Joe Biden is never gonna stop talking about um the Transformer. Joe Biden is never gonna deplatform the Transformer. And like I told you, this man is going to go and listen to Cardi B's album before it comes out because that's exactly what she wanted: attention, and she got it. After being called a CH, you know, a Coca-Cola head, this man is still going on, um, you know, on a public platform saying, oh, I love Cardi B. Oh, I will never stop, stop loving Cardi B. Oh, this and that, the clownery of it all. But hey, what do I know, you guys? I don't think I'm going to continue with this. Uh, thank you very much, you guys, for watching. And thank you very much for making it this far. I think I will have a part two of the part where he seemingly was apologizing. And he was talking about, um, you know, having to mess with certain rappers just because of who is behind those rappers. He said that. He also seemingly addressed Drake. And we're going to talk about what he said about JT and how he now can no longer even properly review music. Like he tiptoed around JT's uh, mixtape and the workings that, you know, she gave because she was working Cardi B and he was trying to protect Cardi B's feelings. So is this the state of hip hop where now we cannot discuss the disses that are embedded in songs? Is that where we are headed? But anyway, you guys, um, I will catch you in the next video just so this one will not be extremely long. But thank you for watching. And until my next one, see you.